Hi, welcome to another episode of Bethany Talks About Stuff. I'm your host, Bethany F. DeVores, author of the Seed Dressing Chronicles, available from Amazon. I'm just doing a quick introduction of some gameplay from Cyberpunk 2077 while I continue to work on the review. Sorry the review is taking so long, but it's the first one I'm doing this way, so I'm still kind of learning the best way to edit this up. So it's taken me longer than I expected. So I thought in the meantime, I would share with you some of the gameplay I've recorded for the review with some commentary as to why I am a terrible player. So uh, just in advance, really quickly, Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that is M rated. Nobody under 17, I think, is supposed to be playing it. Also, if you are offended by language, graphic violence, or sexual themes, this is not the video for you. I'm going to do my best to edit as much language out as possible because I don't think it's necessary either. Um, but there's a lot of it in this game. So if I missed some, I'm really sorry. Um, some of the ads in the background are very suggestive. Um, and there's only so much I can edit those out too. Again, because I'm still kind of learning how to do some of this editing. So at a future date, I may came, come back, redo this video to edit stuff out and repost it. But for now, it is what it is. So please be advised if that's not something you're okay with. I am not gonna be hurt if you don't watch this video. But if it doesn't bother you and you um, think that you would be amused by some of this, enjoy. So one of the things that people really do love about Cyberpunk 2077, myself included, is the customization that you can do. Uh, you can pick one of these three life paths. You could be a nomad, a street kid, or a corpo, and they all do affect um, your gameplay. And you can choose if you're male or female, and then there are a tons of things you can customize facial-wise. You can do this randomization thing, this randomizer. Do you, do you see what you get, though? Like, whoa! No, no, make it go away. I do think that Skyrim actually does have more options. But it's hard to top Skyrim, y'all. Even now, even years later, just saying. But this is still a ridiculous amount of customization you could do. Mm, ridiculous. A ridiculous amount. But this is my favorite hairstyle for my chicks. Because I want to do that with my real hair and it won't do it. Makes me sad. Purple! Purple! Always purple. This could go on for a long time. It usually takes me about 15 minutes to actually create my character because I'm, even though I know all these options and I'm probably going to pick from the same four for each type of optimization choice, I still want to look at them all just in case I've changed my mind. So something they don't tell you about Cyberpunk 2077 in advance is that the driving mechanics are awful. They are awful. Now, I am not good at driving in any video game ever. I'm just not really good at it. However, this is extraordinary. Like, look at this. <laughs> it is amusing to watch. Not so good when it is your actual objective. It was the actual objective here to drive some dude from point A to B and be like his backup. And you don't know you're going to be his backup at the time, but still, it, it's a fun objective, actually, except that you have to drive. And I'm not good at it. So this didn't go well. <laughs> and I just thought it was so funny the way I just really can't, uh, really can't navigate any of this. It's pretty bad. Uh-oh. This is not going to get, oh, it didn't end well. Watch out, buddy! Security or oh. Something I've done in every game I think I've ever played is jump from the highest point I can find. I think that's a gamer thing. I know other gamers that say they do the same thing. So I got it in my mind. I was going to jump from this building. And at one point I thought I can parkour down. Like I want to see if I can make it. And you can't make it. But I learned that the hard way. So let's see. I'm like, oh. By the way, I would never in a million years in real life stand on a glass balcony like that. <laughs> I don't have a particular fear of heights. But no. No. Oh, that's not. That's not good. But I really got convinced I could do this. So I try a couple of times. Ultimately, it doesn't go well. We try it again. Try, try again. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Here we go. No, I'm not going to make it. That is definitely not going to make it. Oh, oh. 
something that, that was a thing that I didn't know was a thing is you can get a pet cat in this game and he is the ugliest little thing you'll ever see so there are still some glitches in cyberpunk 2077 even with the patches in case you can't tell by the fact that his mouth isn't moving as he's singing or else that's just something they do in futuristic cyberpunk world night city all right so some of these i recorded so long ago i don't actually remember what happens in them so i'm just gonna blind react to a few of these <laughs> i have this listed as like driving and random violence i don't know what that means <laughs> What random violence? Oh, this is going to be bad, y'all, because I'm going to drive an actual car. Y'all know I can't drive the cars. I do much better with the motorcycles. I don't know what made me decide to drive a car. I don't know. It's a nice car, though. I like the quadras. Wait, what's happening? Oh, my. This is not going to go well. I am not good with the cars. Why did I choose a car? Why did I record it? Like, one example of me driving badly is probably fine. How many of these do we need? Well, you can see it did get better. So the, the other uh, driving example I had um, was from, like, my first playthrough. So I was still even just learning the controls in general. So this is, this is better. Okay, well, it's better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't. I'm just, no, I'm going to wreck. I'm going to wreck. I'm going too fast. No way I can maintain this. No, no. Why? Why did I wait so late, long to turn? I don't know. Why am I like this? See, okay, here I'm slowing down. I'm going to actually slow down to turn. Still not, still can't do it. Still can't do it. Nope. Ah! I knew it. Ah! Okay, so I, I remember this now. I was under the impression that I was actually helping to stop this car. It's actually like one of those preset things that you don't really have any effects on at first. They're, they're going to wreck. They don't wreck because I make them wreck, but I thought I did. I didn't, really. It kind of looks like I did, but since I've played this again, that same thing happens every time. But I was so proud of myself, like, I helped the cops. I didn't. I didn't, actually. Now, this is me helping the cops. That, that is a thing. Do I not still have that gun? Because that gun is pretty awesome, actually. Look at that car. It's a shame it was wrecked. I like to drive the really, uh, the really gaudy cars. I don't know why, but I just love them. Take them out. Take them out! I'm hit! The only problem I have with helping the cops in these, uh, objectives is that I almost always will accidentally shoot a cop or uh, shoot a civilian and then the next thing you know I'm wanted by the cops so that uh, that does not go well for me so far so good in this one though it's amazing oh he's he's done though he's leaving oh Does the body fly up looting you know I always loot everything if I can loot it if it can be picked up I'm probably looting it by the way, it's not always good in a game. I'm just going to point that out to you. Just going to point it out. You don't necessarily need to loot everything. You can only carry so much. Ray tracing is not on in this video, and I think you can tell the difference. I personally can tell the difference. But that's that's me. Maybe other people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I feel like I can. I definitely can on the cons when I'm playing on the console and on TV. It's still pretty darn good, though, you know? Look at me driving. I'm just, in comparison to when I first started, so proud, which is very sad. I love it. You know, my feller and my lady, whenever I play female B, they're almost always outfitted in looted clothes. And I always think in real life, like, that would be gross. Because I just shot all these people and I, I'm taking their clothes to wear. So I, do they have like bullet holes and blood on them? Or were these clothes just hidden in their pockets or something? Because like sometimes you loot something and you're like, they're not wearing that. And it doesn't, what they're wearing doesn't disappear. So I guess they were just carrying around an extra pair of pants or 
I really, it's, it's odd. The idea of looting in video games is strange to me. And yet, I'm totally hooked on it. So the thing I didn't even realize I wasn't doing is my first couple of playthroughs, I did not realize I didn't have the ray tracing turned on, which is a graphics setting that really is, um, it's a much higher level of graphics. And you can see from my previous um, portions in this video to now, this almost looks like a cutscene, but it's not a cutscene. This is, this is gameplay. So uh, it really did make a huge difference. I didn't expect that. I didn't realize that was a thing I was doing wrong. And now I know a lot of people though, earlier on when Cyberpunk 2077 was released and they had that really dismal release, um, ray tracing made the game just stop for a lot of people. I don't, I don't know what platforms, but I know it did cause a lot of problems. It has really not caused problems for me so far. I'm, I'm on an Xbox uh, Series X and I'm not having trouble with it. There are, it's a little more glitchy here and there. This roller coaster makes me happy. I just love it. I don't know who decided to put a roller coaster in here, but I love you for it. I love you for it. I just happened to see a YouTube video <laughs> in which um, somebody was talking about this game and they had video of this in the background. I thought it was a mod. And then I s noticed the roller coaster in the background and I'm like, I I'm at least going to try to make it work. And it, it worked. I figured it out. I was so excited. I love the roller coaster. And I love that. Isn't that sweet? They're having a good time together. But here's the thing. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my gosh. I am the worst driver ever. It has all these Easter eggs um, built in different places. And this is one of those things. There's, there's actually a little in interesting Easter egg um, on the way to this particular gig. That's very uh, sci-fi ish okay here we are here's one of the interesting easter eggs so this is a mad max easter egg i was extremely excited when i found it and figured it out all on my own because usually i have to have you know a video from like another youtuber i don't figure stuff out on my own very well but this one turned out to be really cool even i could figure it out and i haven't even seen that new mad max movie or you know the reboot or whatever I saw the old ones in the 80s. You know, I gotta loot everything. I'm telling you, it's what I do. Looting is my jam. See, <laughs> I thought it was a little clever. Charlie's Fury. So a thing I like to do in Cyberpunk 2077 is steal the really gaudy cars. So this is me. I've just completed, I don't know, some scanner thing. And I decided I wanted this car. Now, I may or may not be able to get it out of this junkyard, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. There we go. Go, V, go. You can do it. Take that ugly purple car and live your best life, man. I love it. It's so gaudy. I love it. I love it. It's purple. Y'all know purple is like my favorite color. I got everything purple. Even a gaudy car in my game is purple. I love it. All right. I made it out of there. Look at me go. See how much better I got after a while? But these cars are hard to drive because there's just big land yachts. I do like a shotgun. Yep. Look, I'm looting while there's still bad guys out there, but you know. It's always a good time to loot.
It's probably disturbing how much I enjoy this gameplay. But man, do I love a shotgun. Yup, 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 yup. Awesome. Take the purple car again. Take the purple car again. Oh, I'm so predictable. I haven't watched these in months. Like, I've been recording all these videos for a while. But look how predictable I am. I know I'm going to take the car. Because it's purple. I love these gaudy cars. I do like that each life path gives you some different dialogue options too, though. Which is really good. But see how you can just occasionally come across these different crimes? I love it. More shotgun action. Whoa! I was just going to go blow that thing up, blow that thing up, but I did it. I am like the worst aim, y'all. You see how bad my aim is? But hey, I'm still, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. But it's why I don't like to play online. People make fun of me. And they're, it's really annoying because they're not wrong. I am a horrible aim. <laughs> I can't even be that mad about it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm a terrible aim. I don't want to bring the team down, man. Now, you can't see it in this video, but I've had so much coffee, I can't make my one leg stop bouncing. It's too much. It was too much coffee. But I needed it today. I don't know why. I just needed it. So I'm mainly including this clip just so you can see that I do sometimes play V as a female. And she is glorious in all of her pink and purple. I love it. She always has purple hair. I have made myself, I've tried to make myself do a different color hair for her. But since I like the purple hair, I just do purple hair. If you know me in real life, you know I have myself have had purple hair and I loved it. But then I had to go back to work. V, this time I needed to restore the natural balance in this city. A Valentino dropped the cup and has gone unpunished. You can it's change bad. that. If you find out who's covering for the gang, there I'll pay extra. Spect attached. So one of the things I like about the Valentino gang, I mean, they're gangs, so they're awful, but they have such gaudy artwork everywhere, and I actually really like that gaudy artwork. They're the ones with the really gaudy cars, too, so I'm always still in the Valentino cars. I love them. Whoa! Whoa! I got found out already? That music means somebody sees me or something? Like, I thought it was being a little more stealthy. Whoa! Could, could you get under some cover? What is happening right now? Oh my gosh, sometimes I suck at this game. Actually, I suck at every game sometimes. I really do. But I still like them. I have seen people complaining and saying that all games should have a really easy mode. I don't actually agree with that, even though I will almost always start off on the easy difficulty. I don't think every game should have an easy mode just because I'm not a great gamer. I don't like that. I, some games are harder than others by design, and I think that's cool. If you're a really avid gamer and you're all about the difficulty, then go for it. I don't want to be the person that holds everybody back. Man, I suck in this playthrough. This is like, although in fairness, to my, like I'm hiding behind the flammable gas things. All that guy had to do was take one look and blow me up. But it was the, the easy difficulty, so he didn't take one look and blow me up. <laughs> well, that's how it goes sometimes. Now I'm looking for a place to stuff his body. Hmm. Let me look around. Where's a, where's a container? Oh, I see one way off, but I'm gonna have to pass another person to get there. Is this a smart thing to do or not? Probably not. Oh, there he is. See? Nope, I'm gonna choose the not smart path. Oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, I am such a bad player. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> what are you gonna do? still fun. You can tell when I start to get really frustrated 
I pull out the shotgun. I'm like, screw it, I'm just shooting everything! I, I give up on being precise and go straight for the point and spray. Point and spray! Oh, I'm such a bad player. <laughs> I, I also want to just say, as an addition to my commentary on games having an easy level, I have actually enjoyed the play better on the normal level than the easy. I enjoyed the story better on the easy, maybe, just because I was paying more attention to the story. Now I'm paying more attention to the actual gameplay. But it's a little empty for it to be completely no challenge at all. So the normal mode has actually been more fun to play. I might do one playthrough on hard just to see how it goes. I believe you can change the difficulty on the game pretty much anywhere. Like you don't have to, like once it's set in your game you're not stuck with it or some games you set your difficulty and that's just your difficulty for the rest of your playthrough. I don't think this is one of those games. I think you can change it. I'll check on that. I can't remember. So I could try the hard, and if it's too hard, I could just style it back, I guess. Could you actually find something? It's a lot of looting, and I do like the looting. I do like the looting. Who would have thought? Well, well. Either they're planning a costume party, or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. I'm intrigued in either case. So I'm going to say something that might not come across super popular. I loved Keanu Reeves' character in this game. Johnny Silverhand grows on you. Like, at first I didn't like him at all. I'm like, this game is going to suck because I really didn't like him. But, he grew on me. But I gotta say, I actually think the other voice actors do a better job. Sorry, Keanu. I just do. This, he's a, he's a good actor. I like Keanu Reeves, but um, his voice acting is not his finest. You kind of need his real face. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you play it, you'll know what I'm saying. And of course, some parts are better than others, just like anything. Would you find- there. That's good. Find her and shut her up. I can also hear there's a camera. I think this was the normal playthrough, after all. I was thinking this was easy, but actually I don't think it is. I can hear the camera, and you want to disable cameras, but I don't see it. Where is it? Look around. Find it, lady. i probably give up after a second. There it is! I knew I heard it. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, okay. So there are a couple of reasons I'm including this particular clip. One is my driving is so so much better in this clip. I just want to show it off. Two is he is wearing a gold lame shirt. Do you see that? Do you see that with his vest? This game makes you dress like a moron sometimes to get the best specs out of your clothes, the best amount of armor. Sometimes you got to put stuff together that looks really stupid. It just looks stupid. Now, I kind of like the gold shirt without the vest. I don't mind that. But look at it go! You see me weaving in and out like like I know how to drive. It doesn't last. But for this clip it does pretty good. And then I wanted to show off kind of like look at the really nice graphics. This is with the ray tracing on and you can see the, the big holographic fish driving under the plaza. It's really, it's cool. This game is actually, it doesn't get enough credit for being pretty cool. Like this is something I wouldn't thought, I would not have thought I would like this to be honest because I'm such a fantasy person. I love my fantasy stuff, but, oh, don't read it. Don't read the text you're driving. Don't read it. I do sometimes read them as I'm driving, but not in real life. I do not read my text while I'm driving in real life. Sometimes I make the car read them to me, but I don't read them and I don't answer. I do in this game though sometimes, but it's not real life. Look at me squeezing by there. I'm just amazed. This went so well. 
And look, at this point, I have 325 meters. I'm going to make it. I feel like I'm going to make it. Go, go, go. Don't hit him. Oh, I hit that a little bit. That's just a little fender bender, but it, uh, only my car. I didn't take anybody else out. It's totally fine. That's fine. All right. It's almost there. Almost there. Don't hit him. You can do it. I can't ever remember which of these I actually crashed and burned in. I just remember this one was pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm so close now. Go, brother, go, 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 go. Oh, I did, I did, I remember this one. I make it all the way. Look at me, guys. 